Hey guys, it is ATH Shadow Angel here once again, and today I'm bringing you uh, a model that I've absolutely wanted to do for a good while, um, to say the least, um, in terms of uh, one of my all-time favourite characters in uh, 40k, or the 40k fluff, uh, and that is of course Beyond the Fell Handed. Um, Obviously, in his dreadnought form, as of, or as of the, as of at the moment, um, there are rumours, of course, of uh, the potential of his plastic or a plastic form of his uh, former glorious glorious self to be on the horizon. But we'll get to that uh, if and when it gets uh, well gets revealed. Um, so anyway, apart from that, um, just to go by this kit, I know it's been out for a while now. Uh, in terms of it came out when Space the the Space Wolf Codex was last updated. Uh, this kit also gives you the Murder Fang, uh, the Dreadnought, and Venerable Dreadnought types for Space Wolves, as well as being able to buy and build uh, a plastic beyond the Fell Handed. Um, now. Right off the bat, I will quite happily argue that this looks ten times better than his old metal miniature, because it's uh, obviously it's taller, so it now comes up to uh, the right size that dreadnoughts are now at. So it doesn't look so like a, the old diddy uh, dreadnoughts that uh, roam around the battlefield. Plus, it's not metal as well, so this is uh, complete plastic, and just continues to show off how GW plastics are some of the best in uh, wargaming hands down uh, in terms of sculpting and the kit goes together and the variety as well the variety you can do with this kit um, I mean the amount of spare bits I've got I could probably build the other dreadnoughts onto old space marine dreadnought bits that I have um, so yeah so in terms of actual pieces and things like that it's great um, other than that, uh, like I say, uh, the thing that I loved about this kit is that it sets itself really quite far apart from uh, like the Space Marine variants, that standard Marine variances, um, in terms of how they how it looks, uh, the detail in it. Um, I mean, obviously, this is the Beyond variant. Uh, but the other plates that go over the, uh, the sarcophagus and uh, the side panels uh, on the weapons, I mean, the murder fangs, um, frost claws that it has look absolutely stunning uh, with the frost um, detail on them and things like that. And it's just great. Um, but anyway, so that's in terms of the kit. Uh, the build goes really well, goes together really nicely in terms of uh, kit. Not a lot of... Uh, like joint joint problems and things like that, um, and yeah, so yeah, uh, um, so on to the case of uh, why I built this as Beyond. One because, like I said before, he is probably one of my favourite characters uh, outside the Blood Angel chapter. Uh, I love his very long and storied history uh, within the chapter uh, within the chapter slash Legion. Uh, right from the days of the heresy, right up until uh, like the up-to-date modern fluff of 40k. Uh, obviously, he was on the famous Battle of Prospero. Um, was, you know how he became the first Wolf Lord or Great Wolf uh, of, the, of the Space Wolves. Uh, led it for a fairly decent amount of time until his untimely demise to be then put into. Uh, Dreadnought armor and now is kept as a relic as the chapter. Um, you know, remisses on old times, walking by the Primarch Lehman Russ and things like that. And it's such a heart, well, you know, such a cool uh, story to see that he still has that true connection with the with the chap with the chapter or, and things like that. Um, so. Uh, so let's bring you in a bit closer. I'm just going to show off some of this detail. So 
Uh, first noticeably is the new redesigned version of uh, True Claw. Um, now I really love how this has been redesigned um, to make it a really uh, like kind of standout weapon for a dreadnought. Uh, the the extended uh, frost claws on t on here, the detailing of the weave on the top and things like that, I think look make it look really cool and unique. Um, now I've done mine as uh, giving it the red, uh, this kind of reddish uh, ha hand part for it, um, and this goes more off. Um, the artwork for um, Ru uh, Runes of Echo, uh, Echo of Runes, or uh, the short audio book, which has Bjorn the Fell Handed on the front, and it quite clearly shows that his ornate True Claw, um, Wolf Claw, is this really beautiful kind of red tint to it with these absolutely pristine blades uh, coming out the arm, uh, which obviously you can see on his. Uh, plate and just there um, so I kind of wanted to emulate that to kind of give it a bit more a bit more of a story as to so it's not just matted in with the grey and it kind of makes it stand out a bit more um, as to how I did the frost effect on on the uh, claws real simple uh, just painted the entire claw in uh, ceramite white uh, went over it with uh, Gulliman's blue uh, and then just touched up the edges just to give that kind of power so you know where the actual sharp bits of the blade are with a couple of layer, thin layers of white scar uh, just like I say just to give, give it that and then uh, over the whole thing with um, our coat just to give it the uh, that kind of shiny finish that you'd expect off most frost weapons um, now I love this runic script down the back as well, so I've kind of done it as it's like etched in bone, kind of taken from an enemy or something. Um, now, now, now most notably I've get, gone with um, the Hellfrost Cannon for my Bjorn instead of the uh, signature Assault Cannon and things like that. Uh, just because it will give me some, you know, it gives me something a bit different on the battlefield. Uh, for anyone who's come across the uh, Hellfrost Hellfrost weaponry, uh, you'll know it's a fairly devastating weapon to come across. Um, and I kind of like the, the the fact that he has that variety in terms of he can have uh, obviously the Hellfrost, Assault Cannon, Plasma Cannon if you can get hold of one for a Dreadnought, and the uh, multi mounter and things like that. Um, but one of the main reasons I went with this is because I, I really do love the... Uh, the runic work and how the Hellfrost cannons look. Uh, I don't know what it is. There's something about them that you know really looks quite cool, and and everything. So as you can tell, he has quite a lot of uh, pelts as well. He's got this one. And there's one uh, just between uh, the legs as well, and things. Uh, real simply done. Just a few bits of dry brushings with this one with Eshin. And then edged it with um, a bit of uh, ceramite. Uh, the one on the down here is uh, I can't think of the name. Um, fairly lightish brown, and then just picked up the centre with uh, black, and then highlighted with eshin, and then just given it a, a bit of a wash just to tie it all together. Um, and yeah, that's. Uh, but everything golds is how I normally do my golds, and same with the grey as well. How I do my space wolves. Uh, and yeah, uh, also also love this edition. Even though I know smoke launch is a, a bit overlooked nowadays, um, it's still something I thought was quite cool. Come on, focus. So he has that really cool smoke launcher up on the top with the wolf head as the uh, set as the center as the center funnel, and I think it looks it's 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 a small one of those like small details that really kind of sets the the tone for the model. And yeah, 
And like I say, um, I absolutely love this model and it was such a joy to paint and build. And I can't wait for the next one, uh, which I'm not sure which will be. Um, I've got a few things going, um, but we'll find something. Um, and so, yeah, so there you go, guys. Um, it's not a quick vid by any means, and I'm, I don't do apologise, but this is such a cool character for me to do. Um, if you, I'd definitely say if you're interested in the char you know, characters in 40k, definitely check out Bjorn. He's such a cool character to um, to read up on, even if it's just reading up on. Um, and so, yeah, so like I say, there you go, guys. Um, as always, drop comments down below. Uh, I always try and read and reply to them as best as I can. Um, for all updates, follow the link over to the Facebook page. Um, thank you for the continued support on here with uh, the subscriptions and things and the likes and I don't know if any of you share vids, so that's cool if you do and thank you very much. Um, and also thank you for all the like, uh, likes, follows, messages on Instagram as well. Uh, so, um, so yeah. Uh, so as always, like I say, drop a comment below if you uh, want to ask anything or any advice. And I shall catch you again next time with whatever that will be. And, <laughs> and um, right, so yeah, you guys, you guys be safe and catch you next time.